Hey everybody, this is Christina, aka Miss Strawberry Bacon, aka Radical Edward today. Um, Anime Week in Atlanta, or AWA, recently passed, and I went, and of course, as always, I cosplayed as Radical Edward, but I got some new contacts, and I changed up my look a little bit from my previous Radical Edward transformation, so I just wanted to do a video updating you guys on this new look, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what types of anime-related type videos you'd like to see next from me. Um, I should have my video up of, like, all the pictures plus one of the panels that I went to at AWA up shortly after this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Alright guys, um, I'm here to do my Radical Edward transformation and just to speed things up I've already applied a base to my um, eyelids and put in my contacts. I will name the contacts down below so if you want to get these for yourself you can look them up and go buy them and also I bought them at pinkyparadise.com. Alright, so now since I've applied the eyeshadow base, I'm going to start off with a uh, light colored cream eyeshadow. This is the color tattoo and barely something, barely branded. This is going to serve as like another base for the all the eyeshadow colors plus as like my highlight because I'm bringing it all the way up to the brow bone. Alright, so now that we have our light colored base on, I'm going to go in with the first eyeshadow color. And I'm going to be using Amber Rush by L'Oreal. I'm going to apply this mainly just on my lid, and I'm going to use a smaller brush to get in my inner corner. So this is pretty much about how much I put on just to brighten the inner corners up. Alright, so now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to line my eyes using a gel eyeliner. I'm going to start in the middle of my lid and then do like a very extreme cat eye. Pretty much with a wing going all the way to the edge of my eyebrow. What I like to do is once I have the height that I want to go, I pretty much just try to draw a straight line all the way out. And for me, this is just the easiest way. Because when I open, it does like the little curve on its own. That's just because of my eye shape. And if you need to, you can go back with a... Uh, like liquid eyeliner and just clean up the edges or darken the areas because gel eyeliner can be kind of soft so that's as good as it's gonna get but you guys get the idea I kind of wanted the wing to go out pretty much to the edge of my eyebrows alright so now if I can find it we're gonna add our pop of color which is an orange but oranges oranges don't really show up that well on me so I'm gonna take this white eyeliner and pretty much outline the area where I want the orange to be to really help the color stand out and I did the wing first before this because I want to know exactly where I want the orange to stop and pretty much it's gonna stop right on the edge of the liner and pretty much I'm kind of making I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just filling in a space pretty much where I want the orange to be. Pretty much, I just want it to set and pop right there. Sorry if my hands look really, really ashy. <laughs> oh well, I've already started. Alright. 
Once you got your white base on, you can blend it out a little bit with your fingers if you want. I don't do all that because I feel like I'm going to blend away the white. And then we're going to take our orange. Ooh, dropping everything. Which is this lovely orange here. And apply it to the white. And then I'm just going to pat the color right on there. And pretty much for this part, you just build it up to the intensity that you want. Alright. They might not be even, but... I'm gonna go with it. Alright, so... After you got the intensity that you want... We're gonna take a little bit of like the shimmery orange right here and I'm just gonna kind of apply it to the inner area so it's not so harsh right there but yeah this is what the eyes should look like all right, people, I put on my white Radical Edward shirt. I know, hopefully I won't regret it, but I didn't the last three times I've done this. And I put on my wig cap, so once I'm done with my makeup, I can do the complete transformation. All right, so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows, and Radical Edward has black eyebrows, so I'm gonna use this black eyeshadow by Wet n Wild and use it to fill in my brows. I'm using a brush to do that. Oof, I've got light stuff on my hair. I'm just gonna keep my brow shape the way it is, not making it any bigger or exaggerated. There you go. So now, since all the eye makeup and stuff are done, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. This is the Flower BB Cream. And put that all over my face. So that is the base foundation stuff done. Now on to Edward's signature, um, I guess, look. Signature thing about her face is her cheek marks. And I wanted mine to be better than they were before. So let me get everything out. I actually made a stencil. <laughs> so they, to the best of their ability, will be more uniform in size and position. I put like these little black dots on so I know where you know I want it to be so I kind of just line it up where I want it to be and generally I just have it have the black dot kind of like where if I'm looking straight ahead um, where the whites are. I kind of have want the cheek marks to start where my pupil is and kind of end with the um, end of the eyeliner but pretty much however you want to do it. I have this red uh, lip pencil that I'm just going to use to fill in the little area. And this is not foolproof because I still end up making mistakes. They might be a little lopsided or whatever, but it does kind of help at least have them more or less in the same area okay so more or less the same we can always kind of tweak it as we go and then to fill them in I'm using this soft matte lip cream by NYX because it dries down matte and it lasts 
all day through like hugging and rubbing faces. I just love it. So I'm going to apply that and just fill in the area with it. go so again they still have a little bit of personality <laughs> on their own but I mean I think they look good they look really really bright in this camera oh my gosh um, but then for lips um, I did put on lipstick I don't know I just I, I love lipstick but to help stay help it stay on I put on these elf elf lip and lock pencil before and it just really helps the color stay on all day it's like a lip pencil but translucent and then the lipstick I'm using is by Maybelline it's called mauve mania that's what it looks like and I just apply a thin layer of that really help like the cheek stains stay I mean you know I wait till they dry but I take a piece of toilet paper taking apart right now and just apply to the little cheek stain and take some translucent powder kind of like how you would do a normal lipstick and apply some translucent powder to it to really help it mattify and dry up it and then peel off so I mean they go down a little bit in intensity but they last all right so now everything's done yay let's put on the wig so we can totally complete this transformation hello all right guys so this is my completed radical everywhere transformation I hope you guys enjoyed the video I've got my red wig on I will put where I got it cuz I forgot but I know what the website looks like. I have it saved. Um, I got my goggles from Dragon Con, which is another like convention here in Georgia, and they're like steampunky. Um, for my outfit, Radical Edwards outfit is so simple. Excuse my bra. Ooh, this shirt is thin. And pretty much, I just found a really old shirt. I cut the sleeves off, and then I cut it farther down to make kind of like a crop top. And then for my pants, she wears like biker, sh biker shorts, but I couldn't find like cheap ones. So I just bought a pair of leggings in this purple stripe. I don't know if you've ever noticed that she kind of has like a purple sheen because they're kind of, I guess, leather pants or something. These didn't have it, so I just made it myself by taking some fabric paint in purple and just doing a streak down the middle. So yeah that is everything i did and i'm stepping all over my stuff uh let me know if you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions and i will do my best to answer them and i'm gonna include some pictures probably in another video of all the people that i took at anime week in atlanta and all that other good stuff so again i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks always for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye So this is my completed Radical Edward transformation. Oh, got something in my eye.